Hello, my name is Simmer Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's get going today. So we are going to be building a residential lot. This is kind of an expandable home, actually. You could probably add on to the house in the back and the front, which is why I'm calling it the expandable home here on YouTube. However, you can find it on the gallery as the Sage Charmer. Ignore the title, the sophisticated mid-century up there, that is a house I built a very long time ago and I demolished the lot, but I didn't rename it. So if you want to go check out that build, it probably is still on the gallery, but it will be very old at this point. So in this home, we end up getting three bedrooms and two bathrooms. You probably could get a, a third bathroom in here if you wanted to expand and you can make it a three, three, but I decided to stick with the three, two. I thought that that was a nice use of the space and it was nicely separated, I think. So I really like that. And I will say this house is very um, mid-century. I would, yeah, maybe. I, I'm not a hundred percent certain on like style, so I won't, I won't put a title on it, but I used a lot of the Dream Home Decorator pack. It is probably one of my favorite packs, so I put that in here a lot. It's all over, um, but I really like how it turned out still. It's a very cute, um, cute color scheme. I think it's just a lot of the sage greens, white, grays, and I think it's cute. That's that's a good style for me right now. I'm, I'm really in the mood for like the sage, the, the light browns, the light wood tones, and like the neutral other color palettes. It's kind of my vibe right now. So, you know, be prepared to see a lot of green in this interior of the home. So we're going to be moving to the kitchen first. You're going to walk right into the kitchen. I really love this green and light wood tone swatch in these cabinets. They're just, they're super pretty. I really like how they look. So we're going to get these in here. And I think the rest of this, this room is going to be a lot of dream home decorator. Like the whole, the whole space in here is, is substantially dream home decorator. <laughs> But that's an amazing pack. Like I can't, you can't even deny it. Like everything just looks so good together and it's so well made. And I think it's, it's very nice and you can kind of mix and match stuff. So it, it's, I mean, it's dream home decorator for a reason, right? It is, it is very much a, a home designer's dream. So we're going to use a lot of that pack here. And I really love that the, these cabinets here, that floor to ceiling one really, like it's not floor to ceiling, but the, the longest, that tallest one is super cute to me. And I love how this one has like cubbies and stuff. I do wish there was like a little bit more variation, because you really end up having repetition and all of the cabinets end up looking the same if you have more than like three or four of them, but it's okay. And we end up using, I believe it's the base game tiles. I love these. No, not those, not those either. I, I think we end up using the base game tiles. Maybe I don't, I, yes. Okay. We do end up using the base game tiles. I really like those tiles. It's the, the white swatch is really cute, but I also really like that black swatch. I think it also comes in like a weird blue tone, but I don't, I don't use the blue tone very often. So here we are, we're just going to do some finishing touches in the kitchen, and then we're going to move to the dining room, which is on the complete opposite side of our little kitchen space here. So also with the dream home decorator lights, love those. Oh, just kidding. We're going to do the windows first. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, so we're gonna do the windows. Um, I really like the base game windows, those really tall ones, but it's really annoying that the three windows attached that matches it is in the parenting pack. I find that to be rather rude. I think that that should be a base game item because why, 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 why? I, it just, it seems ridiculous. I didn't even know that that was in that pack. I bought it and I was like, what are, where did these windows come from? Why aren't they in the base game? But whatever, I digress. It's fine. We're going to do this, this little dining space now. And to a, the surprise to nobody, it's going to be quite green and wood tone shades in here. And we're going to use the dream home decorator rug because it's so cute. And like that sage green is just, it's so perfect. It's so pretty. I just, I love it so much. I can't, I can't get past it. So I have to use it. So, so sorry. And I think the only item I use from paranormal stuff is that little plant. If I, if I did that, I am so sorry. I, I didn't think I was going to do a pack limited build, but since most of this is dream home decorator and 
like it's almost going to be entirely dream home decorator. I guess that's that's a cottage living couch, isn't it? I don't know what I end up with in here. But if I if I only have one paranormal stuff item, I am so sorry that that is my bad. I will try harder next time to not go crazy with packs and try to make it more limited so they're more accessible to everyone. <laughs> However, speaking of accessibility, The Sims is going to be free for everybody to play starting October 18th, and I think that that's really cool. So if you don't play The Sims, or you know somebody who doesn't play The Sims, make sure you tell them that they can get the base game for free starting in the middle of October. So I think that's great, and if they get their free pack, then they can join our lovely little community and then we have more Sims players out there and more people who can enjoy the game and enjoy builds and our lovely little platform. So I have recently discovered that rugs stacked sometimes look good, but not all rugs look good stacked. And I found that even though that is the same rug just in two different colors, it doesn't look too badly when you put it on top of each other like that. So I am experimenting with that and I hope it looks good with other things, but I feel like more often than not, it doesn't look good, but we're, we're trying, we're seeing, we're seeing what's out there. We're exploring new decorative items. And I think that that's really good. So we're going to try a little bit more of that. Maybe you can see it in later videos, maybe, let me know what you think about it. If you think it looks bad, please, please let me know. If you think it looks good, please let me know. I could, I love reassurance, so I, I would accept that. <laughs> and, you know, speaking of new decorative techniques, we end up doing a gallery wall on the wall directly across from the television and behind that eco lifestyle couch. And I think it looks pretty good. I have seen that done in other builds. I mean, people take... Um, items and and like either wall decorations or photos or um, art and they put those up in ways that look like a gallery wall and I think it just it looks so cute when you do that it's just not everything looks good together and not all gallery walls you know look good in the space so I thought we had a blank wall and we've got a lot of like wood toned swatched items that would look good with this wood so I figured we would try it and obviously my idea was to do that paranormal stuff uh, wall that they've got there but I decided we'd go in a kind of a different direction and, and do a DIY one so we take the um, swatch of the castle or whatever the forest whatever that is and then the boy that everyone knows but I wanted to do a different swatch because you know everyone everyone knows the boy and I like to see what other swatches are in there and there are a lot like there are a lot of different like tones for the wood there's also different photos on the inside so you could do a whole gallery wall with just that photo probably and I think that that's kind of cool so maybe one day I will try that out so we're going to do some finishing little decorative touches in this dining room. And you know, the more I look at it, the more I love it, honestly. Like, it's just, it's super cute. I feel like it's very fresh and very, like, modern and mid-century. Again, I don't know necessarily architectural styles or design styles. So if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. And maybe I should just stop using terms that I don't know anything about but <laughs> we're gonna get some last little pieces in there and we're gonna get some little decorations and some rugs about in here and then we're gonna move into the bedrooms so in this little space I love doing entryways with rugs and like deciding where to go from there but I didn't want to add like another green in here like I feel like we I, I have all of the really nice green rugs already out here so I wasn't totally certain what to do, so I was kind of avoiding that, whereas usually I start with a rug. And I, you know, I really love the fluffy rugs from, um, I believe it's Snowy Escape and the Industrial Love Kit, so I decided we would try one of those. And, you know, I don't use these, like, patterned ones very often, but I don't know, it kind of, it kind of look good. Like, I, I mean, it doesn't look bad, and, like, it looks better than any of these other ones, so we're gonna go with it, and maybe that was a mistake, but, I mean, I feel like it's, it's so different from the rest of the room, but also still kind of, like, ties in all the colors without hitting the colors perfectly spot on. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I just didn't want to look anymore, but I thought this rug looks pretty good here, so pat myself on the back for using an item I don't normally use, at least in a swatch I don't normally use. 
I will now stop rambling about the rug and move to these bathrooms. So of course the bathrooms are going to be basically identical because I don't usually divert from a style when I pick one for a bathroom. It just it usually looks the same. I'm, I'm not creative enough to come up with something different and I kind of like the cohesive look where the bathrooms are are generally all the same. In the house I currently live in, all of the bathrooms are different. And I, I don't know, it just, it kind of annoys me. And I get like maybe the primary being different, but we have two other bathrooms that are literally like complete opposite looking. And I just, I don't understand. Like one of them has a black toilet. And like w none of the other bathrooms have a black toilet. Like why do we just have some random black toilet? I like the black toilet, don't get me wrong, but like can we be consistent if we're going to have a black toilet? Like, why don't we just have a black toilet in all of them? Shock everybody in every bathroom instead of just the one. I don't know. I digress. But my point is, I like to keep all my bathrooms looking generally the same. I don't know. It may be like, I just don't want to do anything different. Like, it's a lot of work. But honestly, it also could be a style thing. So we're going to say it's a style thing. And I, and just leave it with that. And that that's that moving on okay so we're gonna get this window into the bathroom it really bugs me that it's out front and I don't love the curb appeal but I did also want to have a window into the bathroom so I just I was like you know what we'll make it work when we landscape and I think we do make it work when we landscape I think it doesn't look half bad so you know it's fine we're gonna utilize this little hallway space here, get a nice little desk area. And I think it's a really great use of space, especially since it's just like, what else are you gonna put here? And I feel like it's also pretty realistic to have a computer on the other side of this wall. I feel like if all of the rooms were set up to be actually bedrooms, it would be a great use of space to have a little like office space right there. And I feel like I, I think I have friends who've actually done that with their little like hallways and stuff. They've put, they've put desks and stuff in there. So over here, we are going to do a uh, toddler's bedroom. In this room, it's going to be toddlers and you could obviously replace the bed uh, when they age up into a child. And then in the other room, I figured it'd be kind of more of a teen's bedroom. Usually for my teens, I like to do the, the big beds, like the, the double beds. So I do put a double bed in there. You could obviously replace it and put a, a single in that room. But in here, I wanted to do the toddler bed and I really wanted to do the carpet trick for a rug because I thought that could be kind of fun and a little sneaky, but it just, it wasn't, it wasn't a big enough room to do that. So we decided to go with this rug and I actually am kind of glad with that. It fits the rest of the house in like the, the shades of green. And I also feel like it suits like the more modern mid-century kind of look. There I go uh, saying it again and still don't know what it means, but. We're going we're gonna to go with it, and if I'm completely wrong, I apologize, and I will educate myself eventually. So <laughs> as we're going to finish up this room here, I really wanted to try out some of the, the like, kid items I don't usually use a lot of. And, you know, like, the, the little cloud mirror, maybe, or the, the mirror with, like, all the stickies on it. Um, maybe add some more decorations and, like, toys in the room. But I just, it's not it doesn't always work for me. I don't, I just, it always feels like it's a mess and like I just kind of threw it together because I mean, it, I basically do just kind of like throw it together, it seems. So I did my best to like put in different items like this bear. I've never used this bear, but I, I was like, you know, we could try it. We'll, we'll try something out. We'll do something a little bit different. And I thought that it actually looks pretty cute. I don't know if I'll use it again, but I think, I think it's nice to try different items and to like switch things up every now and again. Um, I wanted to put that journal in here, but I realized it's a toddler. So are they really going to be journaling? Probably not. But does anybody know if there is actually gameplay with that item? I don't think I've ever tried, but now I'm curious. I really like all of these different um, swatches for the wallpaper. It's just they're not very like modern, I guess. They look kind of dated, so I don't usually use those. And we're just going to throw some trees on this wall, just some tree decals, and call it a day in there. Moving now into this other bedroom. This is, you know, like the more teen bedroom, or maybe the older child. I don't know. Whatever whatever you need it for, you could make it into. Um, we do go with more of a blue color scheme. Okay, that was super weird. All of a sudden, my computer just, like, shut down, and... 
now we're back up and running but that was that was quite odd anyway so this room is going to be more of blue i know the rest of the house is more of like the green color and even that little toddler space is like the sage green color but i figure the parents are probably the ones that designed the toddler's room they probably set it up and if they like the sage color green then you know that that room would probably have that but then this space, if it was their older child's room, that the older child would have a little bit more freedom with their space. So I decided to do a little bit of a color change. I figured the blue isn't too far off from green. I feel like they're they're in the same realm of colors. So I figured we'll throw those, we'll throw this one in here and it looks good, I think. But I mean, most swatches in blue look good. So you really can't go wrong with, with a nice little blue color scheme to be honest with you. And I think green's kind of the same, especially with the more packs you have, the more green and blue swatches are just phenomenal. So I do end up doing a little editing of this room off camera. We're gonna get the wardrobe in here and I do end up leaving the wardrobe, but eventually I will be putting in a clutter piece from, I believe it's parenting, it's like the calendar or whatever. And I end up taking that out and replacing it with the trans pride flag. After finishing this room and getting all of the posters on here, I don't, I don't know. It was just, it was kind of giving, I wanted, I wanted, you know, inclusion, all that kind of stuff. And I kind of felt like maybe, maybe this person is, oh my goodness, is um, somewhere in the LGBTQ community. And I personally like the colors of the trans flag and I thought it would look good in this room. So I decided that's, that was the flag I wanted to go with. So I do end up replacing that clutter item above the dream home decorator chair and it is the pride flag. So, or it is the trans pride flag. So love that, love the inclusion, love the representation. And I love that about the Sims. It's one of my favorite things about the Sims, honestly, that it's so inclusive and hats off to them for, for continuing to have that as being a part of their game. I started playing The Sims 2 in like 2006 maybe and I had a lesbian couple and I thought that was just so cool and I'd never really like knew any lesbian couples at that point and I didn't really know about being gay or LGBTQ at that point so that was kind of my first introduction and my parents are very open people so I don't I never had a problem but when I actually came out of as bisexual a couple years ago one of my favorite things was the fact that I could I could create me and live that out. And then when we had the the uh, new update recently where you could have um, orientation, I thought that was super awesome. So now my sim self, I that I made you know probably a year ago now, uh, I have updated her preferences. So she is actually bisexual, and I love that. I love that I can actually create me and. I just love the inclusion and the representation that The Sims allows. So moving back to our build here, I originally wanted to put one of the closets that we have in the game in this little space, but there isn't, I don't believe, a three by two that would fit in this space. So I decided instead I would make my own with Dream Home Decorator because I hadn't used the pack enough. So we do a little like walk-in closet here in this little nook space. And I actually really like it. I don't really see a point in having dressers and things in the game, especially if you have a mirror, but I do love the realism aspect, especially when I'm building, because if I want to build like an actual space, like a real life house, you end up with those kinds of spaces in the floor plan and it just doesn't make sense to to try to rearrange the floor plan so i like that you can have a closet and i do like building them every now and again so i'm glad i was able to do that with this little space and just kind of experiment with with all of the different pieces from dream home decorator and you know make my own little dream closet space man speaking of dream closet space i really need to go through my closet Every few months I try to like pull out stuff I haven't worn in a long time, anything that doesn't fit me anymore, anything that just doesn't like, you know, fit the style of clothing anymore and try to give it away, give it to Goodwill, give it to Salvation Army, something like that. And I really think I need to do another round and it just, it's, it's kind of intimidating at this point because I, I'm in transition. So I am currently going 
from being a student to being a, you know, lawyer and my wardrobe's going to have to transition with me. And it's kind of working and I, I, I have accumulated pieces, you know, like more sophisticated and professional pieces, but I haven't done a whole lot and I am very aware that I'm going to have to do some shopping at some point in the near future, but my closet just will not fit that much more clothes. So I'm going to need to go through and really seriously get rid of stuff that I haven't worn. And, you know, sometimes I get a little sentimental and I don't get rid of everything that I probably should. And I'm like, oh, but you know, I got this with that person or this is from that one event I went to. And I'll, I mean, I'll never wear it again, but I, I, keep it for the sentimental reasons. I mean, I've got shirts from when I was a kid that my dad got me from like spring training and I have never worn them. Like I, it's, it's a sentimental thing. I don't even go, I don't even go to the games or, or to Arizona for spring training. And yet I'm like, Oh, I can't get rid of it. It's, it's a mento. And it's like, no, it's, it's fine. So someone else could surely use that and maybe you should just let go of it. Uh, so you know, the the emotional battle that I'm facing, that's, you know, really not that big of a struggle, but it feels like a big struggle to me. So I, I just am, you know, trying to prepare myself to, to go through my closet and at some point when I get some free time and I really need to do that. Do, do you go through your closet frequently or is it like a impromptu kind of deal? Do you plan? Do you get rid of stuff as you buy stuff? Do you have like a method if you have a method, please explain. Please share your wisdom with me because I could really use it. So here we are just going to do some finishing touches in this primary bedroom. I usually put some sort of like little seating area, something like that in one of these spaces. You know, everyone's got to have a chair to throw their crap on when they walk in. So I am going to do something like that here. I think I end up going with a bench from Shock of All Shocks Dream Home Decorator. I'm fairly certain that's what ends up in this little space. Um, very original, very different, very um, unpredictable of me. And we're going to flip through all of the different wallpapers because I am super indecisive. And I think we're going to end up going with like a gray. I hope we end up going with a gray because it seems a blue, a blue. Are we going to go with a blue? Wow, I think we're going to go with a blue. But here we are. We're just going to get there. Our little bench in here. Just something, something. Look at that dream home decorator. <laughs> just something in this little space. Something to, you know, maybe throw down your purse when you walk in. Put your shoes underneath if you're just like stopping real quick. And I thought that was really cute. So we're going to get some more of these paintings in. I really love the art that's from the dream home decorator pack. Just that entire pack is probably definitely one of my favorite packs if not my favorite pack moving now to our exterior we're gonna do a cute little patio off to the left and then we're gonna do lots of plants over here because I hate this window and how that looks from the street and I really can't fix it. So we're gonna do the lovely trick of hiding it with plants, hiding our mistakes in all of the shrubbery and hope for the best. <laughs> um, I don't hate how the shrubs look, honestly. I feel like it looks fine. And, and when I look back at the, the photos and the screenshots, it's, it's not as noticeable as I thought it was when I was you know doing this, but it really bugs me. And I try to make my houses look appealing from the exterior. And I know that not all houses in real life are appealing from the exterior. It really looks like they just kind of like throw windows down willy nilly. And generally speaking, I just try to avoid that. So when I had to put that window there, it was it was kind of just devastating. So I'm I'm glad it didn't look as bad as I thought it would. I mean, like it's it's okay. I just it's it's not everything. But I think because the house is generally pretty balanced. I mean, you have lots to look at, and it did doesn't like just bring your eye to that spot. I feel like it's all right. You can probably tell I'm just trying to talk myself into thinking it's okay. I just, I'm going to pick apart the, the everything I see that I don't love. So we're just, we're just going to move on. So I did put this house on the 
gallery, I believe I actually ended up doing it, but I went to go look at this house just to, you know, kind of get a, a feel for what I ended up doing and make sure that I didn't change anything. And then I think I ended up changing something, but I went back and looked at it and I was really disappointed, um, because the, the game deleted my, all of my terrain paint like around the whole house. So I had to go back in and completely fix all of this. So all this patio had to go back in. And then all of the terrain paint that was under the house, all of the terrain paint that was underneath all the plants and the trees, everything, I had to go back in and fix it all. Like, why does it do that? Why does it, why? And then like when you download something from the gallery and it like moves your paint, I, I just, I just don't understand it. I, why? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna calm down because I'm gonna get mad about terrain paint. What a random thing to get upset about. Like first world problems. Sims 4 problems. <laughs> but now we are gonna move into this little patio space, get a nice little bench into this little cutout here. We're gonna get a cute little greenery over here on this side of the door. I really like having plants. I absolutely love the Blooming Rooms kit. It is to die for I think and I use it all the time so we're gonna get this little tree I think we end up replacing that tree though I think we end up going with something else so over here now we're gonna get a little dining space I believe this table is from the romantic garden pack so so much for not using a whole bunch of packs I am so sorry and you could definitely use another table there I just I saw that and I liked it and we went with it and then these cute little planter boxes go really well with the wood slats over the table so we decided to get that into that little little crevice over on the other side and then we are going to replace the tree there I don't even know where that tree is from if I'm being honest with you I got so many new packs in like like a two-week period and then didn't play right away so I didn't even look to see what new items were from which packs so I am super lost and I'm gonna have to go through and and really seriously look and figure out where all of the items and furniture things are from moving now to the back we are going to do a cute little um words hello cute little covered patio jeez we're gonna do a little patio here um with our little lattice looking um fence i use this quite frequently because i like how it looks and sometimes i'll delete the little panels in between all the like all the flooring in it but between the fences and i decide not to this time i was i was kind of lazy and there was a lot of them so we decide not to do that but i do end up putting the low-lying uh flowers on on top I usually do that I don't I don't know necessarily why I do that I just think it looks cute and I do see other other youtubers do it too so maybe if if we're all doing it maybe that means it came from something and it's not just like something I decided to do randomly one day maybe that's like I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this so now we're going to be doing the back and again we have the romantic garden outdoor furniture. I am so sorry so much for limited pack items, but I really like that furniture and, and it's, it's pretty. So I, I wanted to, and I did and yeah, but I do have the rest of the furniture out here, I believe is either just base game. Nope. I think that table may actually be get together. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize now. And eventually I will do just like pack limited builds, but I, I couldn't help myself. There were just some, there's just so many good items in all of these packs. And I think one of the great things about now the base game being free is you can get the base game and you'll feel less guilty about buying other things and other packs. So, you know, now that the base game's free, I mean, you, you may already have it and you may already own it. So now it being free won't, won't help you any, but you know, for the future, I, I don't know. Anyway, so we're just going to add in some final little touches around the tree. We're going to get in some terrain paint, which ended up all being deleted anyway. So it doesn't end up being as detailed as I make it in, in this video because I didn't want to go back 
and add it all in. So it, I, I have a couple little spots, but it's nowhere near that, and I, I am sorry. And then after we get these final touches on for the terrain paint, we're gonna move to the exterior and we're gonna do the siding on the outside. I waited until the very end to figure out what I wanted to do because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, and I ended up going with this base game, I think that's base game, um, base game like painted brick almost looking like whitewash brick maybe um, I like how it looks and I, I did originally go with the white one and then I went back and decided to do this gray one I thought the gray one just looked better like it just looked more finished especially with the white from the trimming on the window and I just I like that better so we decided to go with the gray put in these final little touches um, you know a little bit of landscaping around that little like vent wall decoration guy there um, some little touches yeah we decided not to go with the bulbous one because with that tree it kind of looks you know and just it just you know but yeah so this is the house thank you so much for joining us make sure you check it out on the gallery it is not called the sophisticated mid-century it is called the sage charmer and this house is definitely expandable it is three bedrooms two bathrooms make sure you check it out get your sims living in there thank you so much for joining me on this lovely day i am sending you all of the positive vibes and happy simming Remember to go tell your friends to buy The Sims after October 18th because it'll be free starting then!